The following table shows the ages of the patients admitted in a hospital during a year. Ages were given in the form of group data and number of patients as in the form of frequencies. Find the mode and the mean of the data given above. Compare and interpret the two measures of the central tendency. Let's move on with solution. As they have asked us to find mode and the mean, first we shall find mode. Mode is defined as the observation having the maximum frequency. Hence, it is formulated as L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole bracket into H where L is known as the lower limit of the modal class. F1 is the frequency of the modal class. And F2 is the frequency preceding the frequency of model class. Hence, it is known as preceding frequency. F2 is the frequency succeeding the frequency of the model class. Hence, it is known as succeeding frequency. And H is known as class size. If you observe into the tabular form, here the maximum frequency is 23. Hence, the frequency of the model class F1 is 23. And the preceding frequency for the frequency of model class is 21. Hence, F0 is 21. And similarly, the frequency succeeding the frequency of the model class is 14. Hence, F2 is 14. Here the modal class is 35 to 45, hence lower limit is 35 and class size H, it is the difference between the class intervals that is 10. Substituting all these values into the above formula that is mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole bracket into H. We get mode is equal to 35 plus within bracket 23 minus 21 by 2 into 23 minus 21 minus 14 whole bracket into H that is 10. By solving this we get 35 plus 1.8 approximately. Hence we get 36.8 approximately. Next going to the second point. They have asked us to find the mean. Here as we see in the class intervals it is large and very difficult for the calculations. To simplify our calculations let's adopt step deviation method. As we know, the relation in step deviation method for mean is x bar is equal to a plus h into u bar. 
where a is the assumed assumed mean and h is the class size and u bar is equal to sigma f u by sigma f let's take the tabular form here if you see the ages were in the group of data and number of pa patients that is frequencies were noted down and the sum of the all frequencies that is sigma fi is 80 now we have to find the class mark cm that is xi it is the half of the midpoint of the lower limit and upper limit 5 plus 15 by 2 it's 10 10 plus 25 by 2 it's 20 and similarly if we see we get 30, 40, T and 60. As the XI values were large, we shall make it smaller by taking an assumed mean. That is, here we shall take the assumed mean as 40. Hence, taking the deviation that is XI minus A, here we get 10 minus 40 that is minus 30. 20 minus 40 it's minus 20 30 minus 40 it's minus 10 0 10 and 20 finding ui here if we see h is the class size it's 10 dividing the deviation by 10 we get minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 as we have reduced the value of xi to ui, we shall find the product of fi and ui. It's 6 into minus 3, it's minus 18. 11 into minus 2, it's minus 22. And similarly, if we multiply, we get minus 21, 0, 14 and 10. Adding all these, we get sigma fi ui as minus 37 as we have found sigma fi and sigma fi ui we shall substitute in the formula that we know it already x bar is equal to a plus h into u bar where a is equal to 40 h is equal to 10 and u bar is equal to minus 37 by 80. Substituting all these in the formula, we get x bar is equal to 40 plus 10 into minus 37 by 80. Solving this, we get x bar is equal to 40 minus 37 by 8 mean is equal to 40 minus 4.63 it's 35.37 years they have asked mean of the given data above here mode is 36.8 mode is 36.8 and mean is 35.37 years